Falk. Outstanding lineup, and plenty still to come from the bench. My key tonight, Darren Lockyer. Well, certainly a great player, probably close to one of the best players, if not the best player in the world. Great option to be able to bring off the bench. Always a fascinating time to watch how the players handle all this pre-match stuff. Well, they come out and try and handle, try and act as though they're super cool, but their hearts are pumping. Wendell Saylor, just in shot there. Spent most of the day in bed, apparently, trying to fight a virus. Steve Ranoff, the Prince of Santa's. Turvey's fired up nicely, screaming at the forwards. Can't wait to get underway. There will be some sort of res reception coming up now. Matthew Rich, Ladies and gentlemen, can they do it? Please welcome the home team. Against the best in the world, look out. This is the other end of the coin for Ridge and company. They have to handle all this emotion of that magnificent reception. Yeah, well, I think they're up to it as well. I mean, this is pretty much the same side that we saw out here last year. Ridge at the back, Sean Hoppy, Richard Barnett on the wings, Blackmore, Reuben Wickey, big man in the centres, the halves of Robbie Paul, Stacey Jones, Logan Swan has certainly come of age since last year, Tony Ira and McCracken in the back row, Lomax and Pongia, the old Canberra daily double starting up front, Henry Paul and Hooker, the coach Frank Endicott. Talked about plenty of bullets still to fire from the bench for the Aussies. Paul Brothers will have plenty of support coming from there as well. Bench will provide a key for me in Joe Wagenart and Jerry Hermanson up front. Yeah, two powerful players, players that are both in form as well. Both teams well served there, but to me the Paul Brothers are the key for the New Zealand Kiwis. Both sides have split. Still daily, nice and relaxed. Set themselves for this visa test series. Both sides standing by as we all do for the national anthems back together again for test football hang on to your seats i can tell you Keep the road the ahead line. is all but a smooth one Keep back. Off we go. Off we go on johns with the touch down and eludes ridge the australians with a chance to fly in still inside the 10 and they do most important for the kiwis to settle immediately in these big matches, everybody seems to want to kick off. Well, certainly things drop just ideally for Australia to start with. But they put themselves, or they've relieved themselves with this penalty they've given away. It's going to be hard on it. Harrigan, no doubt, stole it, had a hand in there. Tried to take on the referee nice and early. Lomax, down already. Grabbing at the back of his neck. Certainly was a good start initially there for the Australian side. Good kick, great chase, good defence. Pongia. Back from suspension to take on a test match. Tony Iro had plenty of success here last year against the Aussies. And they fight their way out towards the 50. Here comes Logan Swan to take over. Three required to put him down. Quickly out for Jones. And Robbie Paul as they try to force him back towards the middle. Tony Iro again, looking for some support. Last tackle. They find themselves on the Australian 40 metres. Jones, Bustle, have to find some open space away from Robbie O'Davis. It'll be too strong. They'll bring it back to the 20. Pretty good start for New Zealand, though. They look very confident. 
Ford's all willing to share the workload, charge it straight up off the ruck. Brent Tart's sideline tonight. Magnificent atmosphere sideline for you, Tony. Yeah, it's a perfect night down here at Albany and Auckland, and I can tell you the crowd are buzzing. It's a great start from New Zealand. That's all they've got to do is hold on to that ball, complete their sets of six. It's going to be all on now in this first scrum, I've heard. I've got a bit of a tip. The boys are fired up, the Kiwis, that is, and the Aussies are expecting some fireworks. Toby gets Monson. Menzies was hammered by Ruben Wickey off the ball. The Australians looked over at the touch judge. They fly in again. Tommy went searching. Search and destroy, that is, as Johns gets nice and wide. The kick away from Ridge. Awkward bounce. And this is going to be interesting to see how they kick to Ridge, who puts a real pressure ball on Sean Hoppy. Well, Ridge would be a little bit disappointed with what happened there. I think that maybe Renoff might have got his hand to it and just made it a bit difficult there for Sean Hoppy, but... The horrors to start with. So already, a bit of a struggle as Lomax goes to the bench. Certainly Frank Endicott wouldn't have wanted that pass thrown there. Daly to go wide immediately. Oh, Davis into the line. Wiki has made two tremendous tackles already. They hold him down penalty. <laughs> Trying to really slow the pace down for themselves and Matt Rogers will look for two. Well, that's where you do have to be careful with the emotion. Go in and make a good big tackle and then ruin it by giving away a silly penalty. Got to keep your wits about it, about you, and your brain tuned off. Make your tackle roll away, let him get up. No second. 25 out for Rogers. Sorry, Rob. Yeah, well good done. early test for him. Tackle will well complete there, though, Trying to follow in the famous footsteps of his father, Steve Rogers, one of the best ever. 22 years of age. In the NRL Rad. Rad. competition, a 72% strike rate. Don't go to Seoul at the 10 metres, just all the extra yard. Just in. Anxious eyes on that one as the Australians break it out to 2 0. be a concern. Lomax was such a big plan of Frank Endicott's early on. Yeah, interesting to see exactly what is wrong with him, but to me the big concern is the field position with this pass between Ridge and Hoppy that gave away that field position. Now there's fumbles. Tell you what, both these sides are on edge and feeling the pinch as the Kiwis get down there quickly. Well, I don't know about the players, I'm on edge up here. I mean, this is a great atmosphere. Harrigan went looking for it. Oh, Davis just ducks right into a whole heap of trouble in the shape of Terry Hermanson. He wasn't expecting to be out there so early. Rodney Howe strongly on the short side, out past the 30. John's looking to kick. Plenty of chases as they seek out Ridge and Hoppy again. Hoppy hangs on to this one. Tony, what's the latest on Lomax? Yeah, he came walking straight past me there. I spoke to the physio. He may have a pinched nerve. He got belted in the back of the neck. They're in the dressing room now, working on him, trying to get him back on the paddock. That is real problems. As Blackmore goes in to assist the forwards. Hammondson. Just straight through to me. McCracken fires himself up. Runs through Andrew Johns as this terrific crowd gets behind them again. Early days as Henry Paul gets out of dummy half. Stacey Jones for O'Davis. Mile of chases down there in black and white. They nail him, Henry! Logan Swan up there leading the chase. That was a sensational tackle. Of Red. Kiwi's got a lift now in defence. Try and force that error. Get the ball back. The Australians are really bunched. Just rocked for a moment as the hustle and bustle continues. Harrigan. He gets hammered. Huge hit from Terry Hermanson. Fittler. Might just be the key that everybody's forgotten about tonight. 
Johns finally with the kick. And Hoppy once more, this time with some space. Terrific tackle from Renoff. But they've already got it back at the 50. Yeah, good return straight away. The thing that's impressive so far is the way that New Zealand forwards are picking up the little men in the Australian line and running over the top of them. Bit of one out, both sides struggling to get in support and any flow in attack. Well, I think you've got to play one out football at this stage of the game. That's a big blow for Australia. Robbie O'Davis, he goes to the bench. As the Kiwi set up on the 30 for Stacey Jones. Logan Swan nice and wide. Now the crowd saw plenty, Russell Smith saw plenty. Somebody's been called out for a warning on a high shot. Fittler it is, just grabbed at him. Well, good running across the park there. He's on a bit of an angle there, Logan Swan. Caught the high shot, no doubt whatsoever, exactly from Brad Fittler. Really has improved. And up against one of the best in the biz. Bridge from nearly 30 out. But you talk about those one-out tactics. That is the way to go at this stage of the game. I mean, both sides do not want to make a mistake of any type whatsoever. So it's a test of strength. 29. Great goal kicker. Drives this one low and hard, but where else? Right down the middle. We're back to square. Two apiece. Field position so important in any match, particularly a test match, you cannot play in your own half. These guys will kick it deep, chase down, try and force another error like they did last time they were down here. Everybody's involved here. Hermanson has been powerful. He's just a typical South Island forward. Puts his head down, pulls his finger out and goes straight ahead. Robbie out. Now it's Henry Paul who's got out of dummy half nice and quick. Caused them trouble in the World Cup from dummy half. And again there. Well, he knows how to milk it. Look, he's an agile little kid, this bloke. He's not a little kid, he's 20-odd, but he milked this penalty good, I think. He just threw a little bit of a dummy, got tackled here. Wasn't held down on the ground, but he just kicked out, kicked out, kicked out like he does in the UK. Up comes a penalty for the Kiwis. Hermanson again. I mentioned Robbie O'Davis. What's the concerns in the Aussie camp, Toddy? Yeah, there's major concerns down here on the bench with his knee. It looks like he's either torn a cartilage or maybe major trouble with his knees. So he is in a lot of bother. Both sides are going to have trouble covering everybody tonight. McCracken back on the inside, O'Davis. Robbie Paul for Tony Iroh. Going all the way out to the wing, the Kiwis put it down. Very slippery conditions after showers earlier tonight here. That's one back off, Kiwis, quickly. Well, off, that ball it. jotted out there, but you'll see the Australians aren't going to play an expansive game at all. Well, they got it knocked down there. Good hit from Reuben Wicky. Hand in that ball stripped. Well, how many were in the tackle? Was there more than one? Well, don't know, don't, doesn't matter how many was in it, it's already a penalty now, and that's what counts. Tuvi just popping out of there. A couple, couple in there to start with, but I thought it was one-on-one -on -one to finish. Wait! Rodney Howe keeps on working on this short side. Brad Thorne nearly overran the dummy half as Richie Barnett comes flying in to assist the forwards. Fiddler loves to... Edge away, come back off either feet. Get up, get up. Come in. Get you, hold away. Andrew Johns looked outside, then inside for Menzies. Lockyer. Dean Payon as well in 17 for Terry Hill. As the Australians go inside the 20, first real chance for either side. That was good play from Terry Hill. He got a bad ball, but he picked it up, no worries. Lockyer scored two tries here last year. Straight across the paddock for Daly. Back for Andrew Johns. They keep their line on the inside. One more tackle only left. Fittler. They take it to the line into the end goal. Way too deep. And New Zealand weathered that storm very, very well. But the Australians showing a good professional touch there, just applying pressure all across the park. Coffee. 
penalties just to the Kiwis. Punishing stuff on Logan Swan from Renner. Hermanson. Still we wait for Joe Vanganar. Quentin Tong here with a good ball up, good support amongst the forwards. I think that's one of the differences between the two sides. Big Joe there, he wants to get in and rip into them. But one of the differences between the two sides, in my opinion, I think there's more forwards in the Kiwi pack that can offload the ball. Last tackle against them. Ridge trying to find some open spaces. Looks like it might be all too easy for Lockyer. Jones down there. And Logan Swan. Difficult man to contain. Yeah, well, it's a shattering blow for O'Davis and also for the Australian side. To be able to bring a player like Lockyer on, she was a huge bonus. Two apiece. Edging away from their own danger zone, the Aussies. Thorne. Support from Dean Tay as they take it out towards the 50 on the last tackle. Johns. Plenty of time to find his mark. He's going to set up a midfield bomb for Ridge. Again, he goes out looking for Hoppy. He thinks better of the pass back this time. On the back of his mind, the earlier incident. Yeah, well, he might have got the hook from Frank Endicott if he had put another one on. Barnett from the far wing has gone in search of some possession. Big arm wrestle. Rodney Howe went looking for Quentin Tonya. Saw him coming. Joe Bayano out there to fire things up. Tony Ira right down the middle to the 50. Last tackle. Ridge on a short side. Down towards the corner pocket. Lockyer read it well. <laughs> Terrific chasing from Robbie Paul and Stacey Jones. Matt Rogers. Logan Swan shows just how strong he is. Now Menzies. Tremendous pace to the game. Still they haven't settled in attack. No, they're, just, they're playing patient football at the moment, the Australian side. Quite prepared to take the hard tackles the Kiwis are coming up with. Probably hoping that they'll wear themselves out. Something's got to give, Toddy. Yeah, it certainly is. It's like Paddington Station down here, though. The most coaches have used a lot of subs already. It just shows the impact and how tough it was in that first 10 minutes. I was talking to Bobby Fulton before the game, the Australian coach. He said to me that they're just going to absorb that first 20 minutes of the Kiwis. They know it's going to be tough and then ignite after that. So let's see if it happens. Midfield. Still both sides running one out a lot as Barnett hammers his way down the middle. McCracken from a long, long way back. Dean Pay put a good shot on him. Parramatta teammates. That is forgotten for tonight. Joe Bagenar. It'll be head to head with Rodney Howe. Tony Iro and Stacey Jones. All the way back. Neither side being able really to find a way through. No, there's not much organisation with both sides at the moment because the, the pressure from the defence is so intense. Dean Pay has the ability to unload, look for support runners like Fittler. The danger about playing one out football is you can get sucked into a negative brand that goes for the 80 minutes. So they do have to be careful, both teams. Fittler. Daly, Dean Pay. Nick Kosef. Nearly everybody's got to start. And now Nick Kosef on, is on. I think they've got more ball players now in the forward pack. Let's start seeing a few short passes. Great defence. Now, did that come off the hands of New Zealand? A dead Ruben Ricky knocked it down, so they'll get six more. Rogers. Does a 360, finds his way, ends up back in New Zealand territory. Wendell Saylor. This is what they like, control of the ball, back to back, sets of six. Plenty of pressure, so many players to use it to great advantage. Oh, we saw a good piece of footwork there from Johns. 
bit of twinkle toes. Terry Hill. Joseph already getting involved, taking the pressure off the likes of Johns, Daly and Fittler. On the inside as Pay ran as a decoy for Menzies. Got away from one. Look, here he is. Miles of green and gold. Inside, then outside. Brilliantly worked. They found that four into two goes pretty easy. Well, this was a good try here from the Australian team. Terry Hill has been involved heavily throughout the first part of this game. Good passing movement, a planned move. Pretty ordinary pass there from Laurie Daly, well picked up. But just have a look at the numbers on this side. Great pass to start with from Menzies. Just look at these numbers. Inside, outside from Kossev, straight over to Terry Hill. He's been under pressure, but good try. Yeah, so was just holding on to the ball and being able to offload. Menzies there was tremendous stuff. Passing on to Jeff Tuber, they were always going to score from this position. New Zealand just going to have to stop this and wrap the ball up. Terry Hill had plenty to say after the try. Had a bit of a dust up with Richie Barnett. Grabs the opening try. And again, that extra possession, extra set of six that adds up. Yeah, well, it all works down to boils down to mistakes. You just cannot make mistakes at test level football, particularly against the Australians, because they just swoop on you. From about eight in from the sideline for Rogers. I've got to say, though, that Terry Hill has looked very impressive this opening part of the game. Received two balls under pressure and handled them well to now come up with a try. Hooks this one away. So it is just the try in it. Australia 6-2. Certainly has been tough for everybody. Frank Endicott worrying, I think, about the Kiwis getting their attacking game in order. Reg to call the shots, get us underway again. John, let's get a full 10. Don't let me have to go 40 metres to penalise you. A lot of deflation after a try against you like that. These guys have put a lot of effort in in defence. Been running hard with the ball, and they're behind on the scoreboard, so they know they've got to strike back themselves quickly. They need the fumble down at this end. Lazarus out there to get involved. Out past the 20. Fettler is a decoy. Tuvi will certainly run a lot from dummy half, more so the second half. Menzies. Lomax Tully is looking unlikely to ever get back in this one. Yeah, I don't think he'll be back on the field tonight. They have taken him away and uh, just precautionary x ray. So unfortunate for him in the first couple of minutes. Certainly makes it difficult for the balance of New Zealand's interchange. Yeah, well, it does, but, I mean, that's what Test footy's all about. Come on, women, Henry. Five, five. He's got to adapt to the conditions. Fiddler. And they have got the players, the Kiwis, to be able to adapt tonight. No pressure on the kickers at all. Rich. Oh, yeah, Still yeah. persists back to Barnett. Well, I mean, the trouble is with those sort of plays, you're running across field. You're an easy shot for a hard hitting defensive line. Sense that the Australians have lifted since that Terry Hill try. Poppy. Heavy tackle from Andrew Johns. Tongia. Notice his way up the middle. Hands in there. Checks with his touch judge. This is what costs you. We talked about it before the game. You don't control the ball. You're going to get burnt. Well, Dean Pay looking quite innocent there. Got Quinn and Ponga trying to get up. This looked like he dropped it out the back. Russell Smith looked both sides. Got no call. Here they come again. Fittler at 5-8 this time. That's Great big ball. Defense. Great ball on old tackle on Ranoff. Kosef. Notice the Australian forwards also hitting the advantage line quite well at the moment. They're really making sure they get that extra two or three metres taking the ball forward. Fettler. Lockyer in support. Just starting to build, just starting to support each other again. 
Andrew John, side of the gap, great footwork, nearly got behind the line, nicely covered up by Logan Swan. One more tackle. Daly. Did they play at it? Who's got it? Now, he's suggesting that the Kiwis knocked it on. Who did? This is a very important call. It'll be a third set of six. Right on the 20, more possession. Get in the scrum, Logan. Get in, Joe. Big effort to hang on here. Lockyer. Terry Hill. Trying to slow him right down just outside the 10. Kosef. Advantage here of the... Or example of the advantage line running there. Kosef hitting the ball on the, on the line. Harrigan right into Jovangana, right in front of the post, putting everything into this set of six. Australia, Daly nice and wide with plenty of runners as well. Menzies on the inside. Foot paid right on the 10 metres. Johns. Fiddler hit the line superbly. Desperate tackle from Tony Iroh. On the last. Daly again, just chipping. Barnett needs support. Matt Rogers knocks it back there. Got it. Don't worry about that. He's going to go up there. Can you just check, please, Ben? Going to go upstairs. Run it back from the start, make sure they're inside. I've got feeling he's behind onside. Well, the call just now goes to Graham Annesley. He's the video ref. It looked a fair try to me. Yeah, that's a try. Well, the contest was even in the air. He did want to check were they onside. I don't think there was a problem with that. So it looks like Terry Hill's got a double. Everybody's clear. Well, we can see the numbers there. There's four Australian jumpers going up there. That's a fair try. That There's nothing wrong with that. Yes, great communication there from Laurie Daly. They all knew what was going on. Fantastic kick, and Terry Hill was the man on the spot. And he comes up with another good try to Australia. Disappointed joint about to get the decision. Someone's going to tell us soon, we hope. So all of a sudden they get a roll on. Well, very important now that not only did New Zealand have to defend from this kickoff to try and force an error, they've got to start expanding their own game. Come up with similar plays to this. This was a well-weighted kick. But look at those numbers. Four green, jump, green and gold jumpers going through there. Difficult for Richie Barnett. He was on his own. He was isolated. You wouldn't be a winger for anything. Turn it up. Turn it up. Like I'd love to have been a winger. <laughs> but you had no chance. Scoring all those tries. Rogers, five metres in. Hits this one superbly. They're going to stretch it by some more. <laughs> on fire. Plenty of possession coming their way. They are in control at the moment. 12-2. the word control that man there Terry Hill he's having a picnic out there at the moment I think he's showing already the best form he's shown this year he's been pretty quiet for Manly apart from last Friday night but control's the word the Australians are controlling the game they're playing it at their pace New Zealand's put all their eggs in the basket with hard hitting defense in the first 20 minutes they come up with some errors now they've got to expand on that and try and create some try scoring movements Let him up. That's one way, lads. need something to break their way need Quite a bit of possession next five minutes or so. To release, release, hands off. The thing that I worry about at this stage of the game is against Australia is we haven't really set, seen Laurie Daly or Brad Fiddler. Off, quick, I mean, those off. guys explode Wait, into the game and anything, anything can happen. They're just playing part of the team footy at the moment. Rodney Howe. Oh, get off, Ben. Get off, Ben. 
strongly back out towards halfway for Andrew Johns to take over out towards Barnett. First time he's gone to this wing. Nelly knocked it on. Nelly dragged it forward. Now Terry Hill went in with a four up. Extremely late. Had plenty to say to each other after the first try. Yeah, just a bit of a square up there from Terry Hill. Both of them have got to get on with the game. Cocked it nice and late, hit him behind the head. It was a big time wrestling tackle, that one. Joe Wangenaar. Time to head back. Joe should probably try and aim for the edges of the ruck a little bit more. Just maybe get one player wider out. Rubby Paul. Standing a bit flat out wide. Wasn't a great deal of depth to that. Tony Iro. Taken by Harrigan and Fittler. 35 away. Trying to spark it up. Jones. In behind. Out towards the sideline. They'll take the scrum. Well, now they've got this field position. They've just got to try through their defence. We see a good kick here from Stacey Jones. They've got field position. They've got to try and force an error. And that's a real hard thing against the Australian side. They actually annoy you because they don't take too many risks. Really need to make things happen. Try and create a bit of their own luck now, Toddy. Yeah, well, New Zealand are a little bit unlucky to be so far down because that first 20, 25 minutes they played so well. The big hits were going. Unfortunate about Johnny Lomax, a couple of their key players, but Australia, to their credit, have hung in there. They've absorbed all the punishment New Zealand have given them. And as Lowy said before, wait for uh, wait for Fittler and those guys to, or Daly just to, to ignite, and this is the time they're going to do it. Sailor. Good, strong defence. McCracken's back out there after being stitched. Tevi. Rodney Howe. Fittler. With support, not a good ball for Harrigan. Did well to take that under pressure. Swinging arm that missed there from Pongia. Johns once more. Rich, beautifully on the run. Seven and eight Australians down there on the chase. Yeah, good tactics from the Australian side. Isolating Ridgie. Not a big man, so they know if they get up there in numbers, he's no threat to them. Tony Iroh, he'll need support, goes alone. Nobody there with him. They are on their heels, they need something to give. The trouble is not being on the heels, they're starting to run across the field, that's the problem. Robby Paul. Just haven't got together as a full back line as yet. McCracken. Sheer strength is not just going to do it against the best team in the world. Lock in. Big numbers have got to go down looking against him. They've come up with four line breaks against the two. They're putting more skill on the New Zealand side what the Kiwis are coming up with, that's the big difference. Changing the angle of the run every now and then. Terry Hermanson went in for the biggest shot of the year. Just missed. Here's another one, but Rodney Howe stood his ground and put down Tony Iroh. Fittler. Tony Iroh looks a little bit sick in the background there as well. Turvey switching. Andrew Johns on the last. They're going to try and run it a little. Now for Ridge. Force back up the middle. Doing things so much quicker at the moment. Well, they're going to have to get Tony Oro off really quick because he's in Disneyland at the moment, just wandering around out there. They've only got 12 players. Big question here to pick up the pace, Toddy. Well, they certainly do. They've got to pull something out of the bay. They need a try before half time, and they can't do it like this. They've got to go back to those basics, just going forward, controlling the board, getting back to their, what the coach wanted them to do. And, well, just another mistake. Australia playing so well at the moment. They are bustled. Barnett in all sorts of trouble, but they have been bustled. He's in trouble with dislocated finger. 
Tony Iro still in trouble. Tony Iro had a go at Rodney Howe and came off second best. Both big men. Bridge over quickly to talk amongst the forwards. But it is again another handling mistake and again another scrum feed down near the 20. Well, the Australian side are getting up in their faces in defence at the moment. That's what's happening. They're just forcing those errors. Well, they're forcing New Zealand to pass the ball when it's not on. Nigel Bungana gets the call. That means everybody, bench and all, has been involved in this test. We're still about nine minutes before half-time. Tony Iroh's out of here. Very much a case of the walking wounded. Plenty of confidence for a hard-working Australian side. Fittler, Lockyer, Terry Hill, looking for a hat-trick. Thorne. Rodney Howe to set it up right towards the post. Create a bigger blindside for them as well. Lockyer hangs down there as a threat. Andrew Johns wide on the open side. Straight across Lazarus for Daly, who throws out an awkward one. Sits up nicely for Wendell Saylor. Back for Menzies. They rush up. Better defence. They need plenty more of that. Lazarus to set it straight again. These personal duels are not being won at the moment by New Zealand. They're bouncing out of tackles. Johns! Already found one out wide against Barnett. Nigel Bagnard takes it well. Well, that was great work from the young kid there. He was under plenty of pressure with the green and golds coming through, but he never took his eyes off the ball, and he's diffused a very, very sticky situation. They need to at least hang till half-time to regroup, check these injuries, regather some thoughts. Can't afford anything else before half-time. Well, I, I do think that they've carried on the first 20 minutes tactics into the second, you know, the second part of this first half. Great run from Tony, a great ball up, great support. Henry Paul, likewise. Stacey Jones puts the foot down. Ridge, so much better. The the skill on, that's what it is. Last tackle. Can they chase him down? Lock here over in a real hurry. Here comes Hobby. They fly in. Oh, that's magnificent from Lockyer to get back into the field of play. Terrific passage. Sailor now as they try and keep them inside the 10. Can they find something in this set of six? Well, if they ever needed to force an error, it's now because New Zealand need to score before half time. themselves down in this good field position by putting a little bit of skill on. That was the difference in the last couple of minutes. Here's the front error. So the door is just slightly ajar. McCracken. Back for Jones. Ridge. Kevin Iro wide. Back on the inside now. Shovels it back. Heavy tackle from Fiddler. Robbie Paul. For Wicky, he's been forced to the second row. Hermanson has support from Pongia. Lazarus with a heavy shot. Right in front of his own post. About 18 out. They stay with Robbie Paul. And a brilliant stop! He needed somebody on his inside. Extra quick play the ball. Wicky. Henry Paul. Pongia. Pongia still, maybe to the corner. Kevin Arrow's got it! I'll tell you what, there's a bit of courage in all of this. Well, this was great work from the New Zealand Kiwis. They gained good field position, they forced the error, they applied a bit of skill. Great work from Quinton Pongia, but have a look at Robbie Paul. A well pushed pass here to Kevin Iroh, who hit the gap with perfect timing. Yes, Robbie Paul there was the man, though. And also this big fella here, the big furrow, he's holding the ball out in front of him. He's showing it, and wow, Kevin Iroh just ran straight into the gap, and that's a great try to New Zealand. They're back. Hill was forced to come in, but... 
This was set up by the courage of hanging on at the other end and coming back all the way. Held up right to the final second for Kevin Iroh Ridge. This will bring the house down. Round it comes, shaves the post. But he knows they have bounced back just when they needed to. Plenty of injured out there for both sides, especially the Kiwis, but it is 12 6. Real buzz again up around North Harbour Stadium. Well, what the Kiwis do know now is they put a bit of skill on and they can come up with a result. That's all that that try came from. It came from their own end of the park. They put that bit of skill on, got field position, forced an error and came up with the points. Joe Vaganar to wind up. Hasn't found any room as yet. Tonga, short ball up Wiki, good support. Can they find the lift that the first Terry Hill try gave for Australia? Lazarus was getting involved there. Ridge. Down for Lockyer. Blackmore, good tackle. Sailor. Australia just a bit back on the heels at the moment. They're shell shocked from that try because it came quite easily in the end. Up for Dean Payne. It's taken a little bit of wind out of their sails. Harrigan tries to put it back in there. Pong here with a good tackle. Nearly caused the fumble too. Ball hit the deck. Now a long one out for Terry Hill. Release him. Finished off by Nigel Vangano. Andrew Johns. Fittler. Menzies nice and wide. Well put down by Blackmore. Last tackle. Fittler to some open spaces. Ridge in a hurry. Happy to take the tackle on his own. 20 getting down towards the last two and a half. Well, that's all Matthew Ridge needs to do when they kick it to him. Just take the tackle. Kevin Iroh. Two, one. Now Joe Vanganar searches them out up the middle. Harrigan went looking, so did Fiddler. Penley has to come, surely. Now they'll go down the other end, pick up a bit of space, bit of territory, get another six. Yeah, all well, the two bulls at one another here. Paul Harrigan giving young Joe Vanganar a little bit of a serve, being helped there from Brad Fittler. That's what brought the penalty about. Wasn't a lot in it. They've found something. They've had to dig pretty deep, buddy. Well, it's, certainly there's a lot of courage out there shown from these guys. They're just playing on pure heart now, the Kiwis. They know they want to try and get one in. This is their last hope just before halftime. Vanganar again attracts miles of attention. Kiwi chant up around North Harbour. Can they find another one? Tony Iroh was back out there. Finds Kevin. Robbie Paul, nice and wide and deep. Stacey Jones takes it to the line. Tries to get it back inside. I think this will still come up for the Australians because the Stacey Jones pass was forward. Yeah, well, Stacey taking the line over, taking the line on there, but did throw the ball forward. That's why the Australians Please. are going to get the feed. Make sure we get up quicker down in that far corner. Don't hold off. Down to the last 60. Turvey gets a spell. Kosef straight out into the hooking roll. Big five, Kiwi! Big push coming in from New Zealand. Tongia, not happy about it. Neither is Rodney Howe. Sailor. Off his wing. Release him, Matthew, one. 
you think you can get back, just when you think you can put them on their heels, they are still at their most dangerous. Who? Australia. Thorne, how it is. Thought you might ask the question. I think the Kiwis are the ones looking pretty dangerous at the moment. Johns. Miles in numbers. He couldn't get it to Lockyer. They had an overlap. Well, great defence from Big Joe Vanganar on the 5'8", Laurie Daly. Johns. Time gone. Rodney Howe to finish with it. Australia started to grab... Currently, that the Australians have had a lot more options when they got inside the 20. We've been extremely patient, I think, but it's about being able to not only absorb, but deal back. All right, two tries to Terry Hill in the first half, and the first uh, try came well. Uh, just go up, and when you have more numbers on, on your men, it's just it's too hard to defend. Well, we'd seen it only moments before, where they took it one side and then decided to switch the play, come back down the short side when numbers had stacked up, and clearly yeah, just far too many numbers, and a, a well-worked try. An example of just some good constructive play by the Australians. All right, second try, and uh, again, Terry Hill gets in. No need for the referee, a video ref here. No, it was quite clear. You know, Richie Barnett went there, but Terry Hill certainly beating them in the air. And again, just showing the options. Daly this time elected to put the kick up. And then the Kiwis come back and uh, get it back to 12-6. And the Paul brothers doing a lot of work, Robbie in particular. Henry Paul's been, I think, outstanding in that first 40, getting involved heavily. Quentin Pongia as well, he had been involved in getting them up that end of the football field. And here, I think Lowy Daly being caught in out of position. Terry Hill not reading it and finding Kevin Iroh out wide. Yeah, and those Iroh brothers must like us scoring in that corner because I do believe that Tony Iroh scored there as well. Toddy, what have you thought of the first half? Well, you got me down here, actually, but Toddy's with me. Uh, just <laughs> that first half, mate, 12 6. It was uh... at least six. Lockyer, back for Rodney Howe. Massive arm wrestle amongst the forwards. Hunts off, hunts off. Thorne. Two arms off. Hunts Already hunts out off. towards the 30. Harrigan with a strong run. Round of over 24,000 announced here at North Harbour. Toovey mentioned oh, earlier yeah, that he will nice. continue to run a lot more from dummy half in the second 40. Fiddler looking to set himself for a left foot step. Now back on the inside, Andrew Johns. Last tackle. I'll be more than happy with this restart. Oh, not now. Fiddler looked away trying to push the pass. Well, Brad Fittler, one of the great players in the world, it shows they all do make mistakes. It was a pretty bad one there, and a timely one for New Zealand. Tongia. Two, Teddy, come on! Even more problems from half-time for the Kiwis, Teddy. Yeah, Richie Barnett's got a broken bone in his hand. He's sitting down on the bench right now. We're not sure whether he's going to go on. Maybe if they can tape it up, he will go back on the field. Six. Also, also Lomax, if he gets back in time from hospital, they're saying they're going to try and put him on if the X-rays are clear. Struggling balance for Endicott in this second half. For interchange. Back Joe Wagenau. He's drawn a lot of attention since he got out there. Jones. Can he find the way through? Can he get them home? Henry Paul. Three. Back off on him. Ridge staying up in the line. To Tony Ira. Back on the inside. McCracken. Blackmore. The shift is on. Logan Swan. Not really expecting it. Got an awful bounce. Well, that's dumb football because no one wanted the ball there. That was just catching past to one another. It was silly stuff. And this was this is what comes of it. They'll be disappointed with themselves, the Kiwis. Just don't seem to be getting settled with any definitive half or five eight. Yeah, well, I think the thing is that the Paul boys are individual players. They're not team players, I think, and they're probably dominating that ruck area a little bit too much. Stacy Jones in attack is playing about three wide. As good as they have played, but you're probably right, they haven't settled on a back line, handling mistakes, hurting the Kiwis. A couple extra. Tuvi again darting out. Andrew Johns, the difference, he and Daly always getting together. Not so for Stacey Jones and Robbie Paul. Lockyer. Release. 40 metres away, down to their last tackle. Bit of pressure this time on Andrew Johns. 
Run into him, play on, run into the mark. John's ended up on his back. Russell Smith the said there there. was nothing to it. Yet again, they fumble it. it on, this the is forward. nothing but suicide. Joel began to knock on, try to get the ball away. How many chances can you offer someone as good as Australia? You just can't offer them one. Joe Vangano hanging right out there in the centre. He got the ball probably when he wasn't Matthew. expecting it. He tried to run like a centre and that was the result. Stay in the puck. The Vulcan's head. Quickly out the back. Fittler at 5 8. They've continued the switch a number of times. They give it straight back. Here's a bonus. Robbie Paul. Let him up quickly. Unusual for Australia to let anybody off the hook in that situation. Blackmore. That's one. Logan Swan. And that's a good Two. run. Back off. Took it on the advantage line. Three defenders into him. Jones. Tony Iro. For Kevin. The brothers getting together as he fights with them. Again looking for support. And a chance here. Needed to go wide quickly. Blackmore in behind Sailor and then Lockyer. He loses it. They've got it unbelievable. Now there's trouble. Now there's hope. Real hope. Forget about the Kiwi fumbles. It is catching for both sides. Well, great try here for New Zealand. Because they put a bit of skill on catch and pass, every player in position this particular time, once again, the Pauls played a major role in it. But great work there from Vic Richie Blackmore. This was a horror mistake here. Wendell Saylor, something similar last year. He'll be having nightmares. Great try. Yes, if you're prepared to do things, sometimes a bit of luck comes on your way. The Kiwis are prepared to throw that ball. Now, Richie Blackmore, there wasn't really anything on here. Puts a nice chip kick through, but just watch the bad mistake from Australia. And Sean Hoppy's there to clean it up, and that's a great try for New Zealand. They're right back in this one. That's really going to pump them up. Bridge adds another two. We're back to where we started. The Kiwis answering the call, the real challenge from Australia, 12 apiece. Remarkable. Can't believe that Lockyer put that one down. Ridge keeps his cool, traps it, back for Hoppy. Well, he was the player that dropped it in the back line to start with. Whoever hangs onto it might just win. Well, it's now a test of professionalism between both sides. And kick it. To their defence, we spoke to players involved in the pre-match build up to Army Navy guys. They said how difficult the conditions were out there. Really greasy. Yeah, it is very greasy, but I mean, you've got millions of dollars worth of footy talent out there. Shouldn't make a difference to everybody says. Joe Vangana steams up the engine room. Henry Paul. They're so clever on their feet, both Henry and Robbie Paul. You can get Stacey Jones in there as well. I mean, they're a real handful, that trio. And a good kick from Reg, too. Weighted down to the end goal. Here they come. Black and white army. Oh, again! I just do not believe it. What a tackle. The impact. Heavens! They were down in huge numbers. And Blackmore late on the last one might set up another one here. Well, Lockyer he's, again. He's been sensational out there with his defence. Probably the best centre on the field at this moment. Lockyer, gee whiz for the young fella being such a talented player. He want to crawl on the ground somewhere. He'd be looking for a hole to get into. Awesome atmosphere. Now they get behind them. Robbie Paul. Special move work to training perhaps for Hoppy. Now for Nigel Vangana. Just 13 metres away for Kevin Iro. Make that 10. To release. Release, Paul. Robbie Paul, Stacey Jones. Back up the middle. Quickly away for Reg to try and dummy his way through. Look for support. Did the right thing. Henry Paul. 
tried to catch them napping from dummy half looking for a quick play of the ball it might still be on now they've lost it short of the line good quick play of the ball they nearly grabbed it they fumbled well henry paul did everything except score the try himself after that it was a bit of panic the gap was there the opportunity was there Logan Swan, I think, who tried to stay nice and low, only had to hang on his fingertips. He would have cut the chalk. But what a great job Henry Paul did in getting that position to start with. He had three tacklers on him, and he still managed to get up first and get the ball play. Their backs to the wall at the moment, the Australian side. They're back on their heels. They've got to dig deep and show what they're worth. Brad Thorne does that. Turvey. Good quick run from him, the handling mistake still against the Kiwis. Lazarus, out there quickly, looking for the experienced man. Turvey, didn't know who was supposed to get it, gets punished right on the 50. The crack. And hurting too. Johns, now all of a sudden the last couple of plays, they've put some pressure on the kick. Nigel Bunganar does the right thing, leaves it alone. But they really have taken the heat out of all of that by going right down the other end. Well, it was great professional play from Australia, working the ball from their own goal line, nothing fancy. Come up with the good kick. Long walk back as they slow it for this scrum. I don't think I've seen so many important mistakes in a test match in recent years by such skilled players. Pressure taking its toll, Tully, and some pretty big names. Well, it certainly is, and you're saying about how slippery it is out there. It's very, very slippery underfoot. The guys have got to really concentrate on ball security. New Zealand now have to just hit that ball out, hit the ball up as best they can, and just get a good kick and chase it. I tell you what, you reckon there's 24,000 here. When New Zealand do something electric and something really magic, you think there's 124,000. I tell you, it's fantastic on the sideline. Just outside the 20. Logan Swan takes on Fittler. Oh, back off, lads. Yep. Robbie Paul. Hands off quickly, Glenn. Just a real thorn for them at the moment. He holds the ball out in front of him. He's clever off both feet. Ridge saw that Lockyer had come back to the sideline, kicked out to the open side, found Matt Rogers. He's run 10 metres. Tongia had a strong game tonight. Back off. Stand square. Kosef. Fulton way. continues Two. to quickly use that interchange. There's a bit more firepower now with a heavy Three. Kiwi injury count hurting them. Dean Pace thrown back by Logan Swan McCracken over the top. That's pretty ordinary play from Australia, not getting anywhere at all. Daly. Terry Hill. Ball went astray out towards Rogers. Ruben Wicky just threw himself into the play. Last tackle, is there more pressure on the kick? Johns just gets it in. Hoppy. Come up with a lot of work tonight, especially in the first 40 when they needed him. Release quickly. Strong front on tackle there from Steve Renoff. Ridge. Two ones off, ones off. Starting to get itself into a position like the first 40, midway through where they knew it was such a big arm wrestle, something had to give the Australians got on top now. Again, we're waiting for something to crack. As soon as they're in range, I wouldn't be waiting too long for a field goal, both sides. Still plenty of time left in the game, but just psychologically, to be in front is much better. Stacey Jones right on halfway. Ridge, plenty of time to wait this one again. This is where they came up with a fumble. The crowd on edge thinking they can smell another chance. Now Lockyer has lost it. Can you believe it? Three times in a row for Lockyer. Got a little bit of a serve there from Jared McCracken. That wouldn't have helped them at all. But just look how he's handling the ball to start with. He should have had a voice on it. It's almost like I was trying to say you could feel that something was on edge. Well, Bob Fulton might have to look at shifting him around somewhere. Just take a bit of heat off him. Stacey Jones, Ridge packing a short side with Blackmore. 
Henry Paul goes with Jones on the open. Now for Robbie Paul. Now for Kevin Iro. Kevin Iro looking for his second. They are but one meter away. Back for Henry. Fumble out for Stacey Jones. He did well to go back and support him. Hands off. Stacked all on one side, the Kiwis. They go looking for Pongia, then for Logan Swan. Three release. Come on. Come on Australians under enormous pressure. Jones. Jones looking for Wicky. Gets hammered by Big Glenn Lazarus over the top and held down in front of the post for a long time. Henry Paul quickly. Robbie Paul inside. Hamilton's grabbed it. Hamilton's going to try unbelievable. Real hope, real trouble now. Forget about all of that. The big upset on the cards. Maybe these guys don't think of it as an upset. We'll just have a look at the pause involved once again. But good pick. Terry Hermanson backing up on the inside. Front row is Tony. That doesn't happen too often. They don't miss him, though. No, great stuff there from Hermanson. But thanks to Lockyer for putting us in this position. But they hit the blind side, the Kiwis. Nice little inside ball. And in these conditions, a big front line, that's going to slide over. He does it. It was a, quite a tough try. Still a bit of work to do, but he showed so much power, Hermeson. Great try. And you should hear the crowd. That has just set them alight. Unbelievable. Back on the inside. They worked this beautifully. Just held up enough to create the half chance for Hermanson. Talk about strength. Ridge. This to really put it to Australia. Just listen to the roar. Need I say any more? New Zealand, show of heart here at North Harbour. And now the skill to send it to 18-12. Talk about test matches. Rather large party here in Auckland tonight. Australia now having to come from behind. Plenty of time left, miles of it. Building up into a terrific encounter. Well, psychologically, I think that's absolutely fantastic for the Kiwis. They came up like nothing was fluky about it. And look at Big Joe, how he's lifted himself. That try was just done with skill. Got to be a penalty to New Zealand. Had to come, it's all falling nicely. Real mess in the play, the ball. He's had an excellent game, Russell Smith. Tony Ira. He gives it back now. Almost seemingly Australia's chance to climb into it. All the mistakes we keep talking about him, but gee, the, the power of the tackles, that's the thing. There's so much power going into the tackles, and some of these players are carrying the ball in tight situations in one hand. Showers were here for quite a while before the kickoff, about 45 minutes. Oh, heavy stuff in the middle. Now Harrigan loses it. They are on their feet over everything here. Harrigan, far from happy, said the ball went back. Well, have a look at Paul Harrigan here. He was smashed there. Ruben Wicky once again in the middle of the park. Quinton Pong here, he's just hunting for them. He's like a shark out there at the moment. He smells blood and he wants more of it. Against the feed. Ranoff hardly seen the ball all night. Let him off. That's one release. Get quick, Ed. Rodney Howe should have been New Zealand down the other end. Now they've got to defend. Tuvi quickly for Daly. Andrew Johns getting very wide with Fittler. Showed the ball, Millie got behind the line. Joe Bogenhardt warned to stay away from the head. Get him down, go, Joe. Swinging arm. Got another back of the net. Well, Joe Bogenhardt going in with a high tackle there, but the dangerous thing was Joe was actually way out in the centres. That's nowhere for a front row to defend. Those little bugs will step inside you all the time. Now, Australia confidently had a chance at an easy two to set up the win. They've just gone looking immediately for a try. Big call from Daly. Harrigan. Hammered again, forced to go back to Johns. Let him off, back off, 21. Tuvi. 
Dean Tay. They've Two. backed themselves to find four or six. Fitler. Fitler. Things are getting desperate, even with so much time still on the clock. Daly in a dummy half. Rodney Howe looking for runners. Finds Lockyer trying to make up for some of those handling mistakes. Harrigan used as a decoy for Andrew Johns, who was standing wide, 30 metres from that play of the ball. Terry Hill thrown to the turf, forced to go down to the bomb. Very wide, they'll look for Sailor and Daly. And Hoppy will have to handle it. Oh, who's got it? And who touched it? They're going to have to handle six more. Came off New Zealand. Well, real pressure for New Zealand, but they've shown throughout the game they can handle it. Off a New Zealand player. They've got to handle it again now. Six tackles against a very desperate Australian side whose big guns have got to fire in these next six tackles. Toughest thing in the game to come up with back-to-back -back sets of six, especially against these guys. New Zealand have milked it for as much time as possible. Ridge still on a slow march back. Well, what's wrong with that? I'd sit down and write a letter for us, Richie. <laughs> Could have mailed it and still been waiting for it to arrive. Now, Australians have made changes. Terry Hill in big trouble. It has been an extraordinary night as far as the injury title is concerned. Yep, get off a bit quicker, lads. We're getting that a bit will also cause problems, down. big ones, for Bob Fulton in the last 20. Right, time back on. The most important set of six coming up so far. Let's get him low. Rodney Howe. Let him up low. 35 away. Wait. Fitler, Daly, Andrew Johns. The men to find the way through. Perfect leads. position just outside the 20. Switches on for Daly. Fitler's up the middle. Decoy for Lockyer. Now for Menzies, who has not got into much of the play when the Australians have been in attack. Rodney Howe. No fear. Back for Tuvi. Tuvi. Inside the 10, and now a penalty. Do they take the two? Do they back themselves again? Yes, they do. They still get on with it. Fittler again. Absolutely relentless. Third set of six. How do you hang on against this pressure? Harrigan. Look at this commitment. Well, that's how you hang on. You just roll your sleeves up and go to work. That's what they're doing. Still searching. And a fumble with the play. The ball brings the house down. Touch and go, but he's got it, nailed him for it. Tuvi can't believe it, but he's right on the spot as he has been all night. There'll be a bit dirty about that, Australia. Stress, the referees may have allowed it to go on. Stay not, not. Terry Hill, Robbie O'Davis out early, never to be back in this test. Let's label this one the Battle of North Harbour. Still yet to be Two. won. But a nice break for New Zealand. Get him low. Everybody's back to mates on the exact day weekend. Not so tonight. Handley errors have been squared up as Henry Paul finds some more space up the middle. Valuable metres. Wicky. Especially strong in defence tonight. Nigel Bungano climbs a couple, carries one past the 40. Last tackle, Rich just gets it in, gets put down. Rodney Howe went on with it. Russell Smith said it was fine. Oh, I think that was touch and go. I don't think there was too much in that. Committed to the tackle was the call as Lockyer. Can't get away from Blackmore. Oh, he nearly dropped it again. Ran off. Just about no opportunities for him. 
really has been a game of attrition amongst the engine room. Have to be proud of these guys, Tony. Well, you know, I just can't believe that Australia are trying to take on New Zealand in the forwards. We are very, very strong. We've shown that in the first half, and they still won't get it out to Daly and Renoff. This time they try to go wide. Menzies. Last tackle. Five, five, five. Fettler. Fine kick to the open spaces for Hoppy, but it's going to skid on that turf. Go way deep. They'll pick up 20 metres on a bonus. Well, that's playing right into New Zealand's hands. Those sort of kicks are just going to slow the play down. I'd let the ball down if I was them and look for a pump to get it pumped up again. Hermanson, what a night he's had. He answered the call in the first 60 seconds. Hand in there against Koseth. Well picked up. Penalty, they'll go a long way downtown. Well, I thought in the first half the score flattered the Australians, uh, the Kiwi side, but at the moment it's just all New Zealand. Australia aren't in it at the moment. Not at all. Ridge. Just short of the 50. Didn't try to put too much in, didn't try and get greedy. Hermanson once more. Tongia. He puts it down. It is still there. Now another chance. Well, good tackle there from Jeff Doobie. Little man on a big man. Dropping the ball in the power of the tackle. Big As you five. say, Pong is one place had a great game out there tonight. Been a great Dave battle amongst all the front rows. Fitler. They Please always front the scrum out at 5 8. Well, Australia having to play Steve Menzies in the centres also. Maybe Ooh. I've waited far too long in this test match to raise the question about Laurie Daly's hamstring. Just haven't seen him take off at all. Thorne does, though. Gets support from Tuvi. Tuvi! Nelly snuck through. Now Daly, with runners. And he is not 100%. No, no doubt whatsoever. He's really struggling out there, Laurie Daly. Can't stretch out. Andrew Johns. Terrific long ball out. Here's a chance. Still on out there. Andrew Johns kicking. Jones is there. Can he get back? And he does. They throw him back. Has to be a penalty, surely. What a question whether this tackle was finished off. Great little kick here from Johns. But Stacey Jones just acting as a second line of defence back there. Shoved him to the end goal. I don't think there was too much wrong with that. Got a backing. Apologised to Russell Smith. The call was fine. Come on, get on with it. So once more they will defend this line. But as they have shown throughout the night, it is anything but a thin black and white one. Plenty of muscle, plenty of numbers. Australia to throw everything into this as we go inside. The last 15. This is where it plays on the mind. Six-point gap for the Kiwis. They're searching for a converted try. Release, look. Sailor went looking for a turvy, went the other way, found Koseth, back for Lockyer. And back for Johns to try and step, but Tongi is there to monster him. That's all New Zealand has to do, just mark them off one at a time, keep the numbers there. 18-12. Thorn looked at the referee to get on with it quickly. Daly again, cutting men out. Lockyer and a red off to the outside. You can't afford it. All oh, the pressure finally tells. The only time tonight he's got a decent head start on anybody. He showed them when he put the foot down. Yeah, good backline play here. Just stand and pass, and the power man out right, out wide, coming onto the ball. Look here, great pass there from Lockyer. He knows he's had a horror game tonight, but he did something great there. And Steve Renoff just in the hole, Toddy. Yes, yeah, the first time they've shown the ball out wide to the backs. Renoff has been starved of it. 
just see what he can do when he gets the ball. He's a fantastic electrifying player, and that's exactly what Australia needed. I don't think they can do it. I stalled back in New Zealand to win this one. This was a Brisbane special. Lockyer and Renoff, who just shifted, shuffled out with the ball. Stacey Jones didn't know this man had got to the outside. They call him the Prince of Centre's eighth game for the Kangaroos. Has not scored a more important try. As you said before, though, I think the major problem for Australia at the moment is Laurie Daly is obviously suffering from that hamstring injury. Just cannot stretch out. If he was right, he would have scored that try close to the line himself. He would have jinked through. But he just passed on. Temptation will be to have Lockyer live in the line at 5'8". Two from three for Rogers. This one to lock it up. They've still got it. What a game at 18-16. Laurie Daly, not 100%, tore his hamstring just a week ago. The clock is ticking on this all-important test match. Terry Hill. Keen to get back out any way he can. Got a double. Just when Australia looked as though they were in control, but comebacks galore in this. Heavy defence from Nigel Bunganar on Kosef. Thorne. Both sides. The greasy conditions just sweating on mistakes. Down near the danger zones. Tuvi. Strong second half from him. Fitler. Hasn't quite got comfortable. Well, they haven't let him get comfortable. They've marked him from the inside out. They've taken away that sidestep that he's got. Daly kicked that, kept my eyes on him. Really did hobble. Ridge just shepherds that over the sideline. Pretty good slow down tactics here. Devon Iroh come to the middle of the park. Very few missed tackles, outstanding defences, nine apiece. Well, it's test footy. That's what you expect. High quality, and we're getting it out there tonight. Brad Thorne in the picture there. He's got a lot of proud relatives, I'm sure, around the countryside here in New Zealand. Nigel Vangana trying to slip away from Matt Rogers. Can't they spread it? Well done by Logan Swan to make sure of that difficult ball. McCracken looks on as one gets away. Kevin Iroh picks up the Greeks. Just a little bit of disorganisation at the moment on the Kiwi side. It's got to get their minds on the job. Just slackened the pace a little. They don't want to try and slow it down yet. Still too much time to go. Ridge. Again, Rodney Howe went looking for him, but he comes up with a fine kick to get between Sailor and Lockyer. Surely not again down this corner. Inside their own 20. This is where they need to make it happen. Find a fumble. High shot from Tonga, he'll get a warning. Well, Quinn and Tonga going in and doing what front rows do do in test matches. Hit hard. I thought he hit down below there to start. It may have ridden up or it did ride up. Certainly Under the bounced chin. up on impact. Thorn. Now for Harrigan. Joe Bunnana sorts him out. These two will go around again on Sunday at Ericsson. Lazarus. Sending out the big guns for the vital later stages. Fitler again. Penalties just to New Zealand. Johns. Up to Tuvi. Menzies thrown to ground. Well, Menzies took that ball flat footed. That's why he was thrown to ground. Frank's just wishing the clock would go quicker. Ran off again. Well taken and heavily by Blackmore. Last tackle. Long way out. Johns. Just in behind the line. Jones is there, gets away from Johns. 
can't get away from Dali. Now he does. And takes it back to the 20. Well, you've got to question that kick there. Just throwing everything into it. They know how to really come at the end of the big game, the Australians. And they look as though the Kiwis just need a good passage, good set of play to get away from him. Well, they've just got to get some field position. That's all they need. Just don't get sucked into an arm wrestle. They've got the game if they keep using it. Good skill. Good ball up from Tongi, outstanding tonight. Just the two in it at 18-16. Stacey Jones made sure of the win last year here. Wrapping it up with some brilliant play at the finish. Seven and a half to go. Bridge again gets it away from Lockyer. Plenty of time for the chase as he offhands to Sailor. Weary forwards wandering back for the Australians and Lockyer takes it up for them out of dummy half. Two. There was not a lot. The so-called experts told him the thought it would be this close, this late. Well, everybody I spoke to oh, thought that Australia would probably win this one. The, the man for man, they've had so much class, many class bars out wide, but they've played really into New Zealand's hands. They've tried to take them on the forwards, and they've been belted by the New Zealand forwards. New Zealand have had a fantastic game out there, and I can't see them losing this one. Well, Toddy, they put skill on them. That's what they've done. Six and a half to go. Yeah, they've certainly uh, got a few passes. When they strung their passes together, New Zealand looked very dangerous. Stacey Jones is out of fire. Matthew Roots is in defence. Has hit Jeff Tuvey in the last couple of last ditch tackles and saved a certain couple of tries. Poppy. Not making a lot of mistakes at the moment. The Australians playing the right game. Kicking down deep. Trying to stay at this end of the field. Been a while, long while since the Kiwis have been up the other end in possession. Yeah, they've got to get that field position. But I agree with Toddy, I don't think Australia can win it now. I think they fired all their big guns and they come out with a bit of damp gunpowder, I reckon. I'd hate to say that to you. Two points in it, still nearly six minutes remaining. Well, they lose it, more possession for Australia. Rodney Howe, Reuben Wicky climbs the board. Oh, Reuben Wicky, he's just been sensational. He's got a Superman outfit under that New Zealand jumper, I'll tell you. Wendell Saylor. All Albani's lonesome out on the wing. Won't be too keen on coming to North Harbour again, Wendell Saylor. Not a happy place for him. Harrigan. Still trying to find that special magic. It got away from Daly. And he could not stretch with it. He could not stretch to get there with the hamstring. He looks at Russell Smith, but you just watch, favouring the hamstring. Yeah, well, he knows he's crook. He's, he just has not got that jink. He's captain of the side, playing on courage out there at the moment because they've got so many wounded players. That man there, he's probably chewed five pens by now. He was looking for desire and commitment, and he's got it in bagfuls out there tonight. Now a scrum feed should come their way on the 40. The Australians trying to screw the scrum to come up with a feed. Can't find it. From this set of six, they should finish somewhere down near the other 20. Well, this set of six could put the Australians totally out of business. Henry Paul knows the right way, straight from dummy half. Heavily hit in the tackle, now he gets up crook. Grabbed his hand and fingers. Kevin Iroh. Still Kevin Iroh inside the Australian 40. Come on, get with me, Paul. Fine play from Nigel Wanganar. Well, he's got the call and he's put his hand up and he's doing a great job, the kid. Here comes Joe. And a nice quick play, the ball. Last tackle. Henry Paul for Ridge. Midfield bomb right near the post, right near the 10. Lockyer knocked back off the Australians. Who's grabbed it? Knocked on against. On the last tackle. New Zealand will be a handover. Daly quickly in search of it. Yeah, great tactics there from Matthew Ridge, the midfield bomber. It's taken a lot of time out of this game. And they've gone now, the Australians. They cannot win it from here. Never mind looking like that. You can uncross all your fingers and hands and everything else you've got to cross. Just the You're two in it. Just the two as Rodney Howe gets...
And look at the big beast, the little step there. He took on four Aussies and come out on top. Great stuff from a great team tonight. Have a look at the smiles on all of these dials. Terry Hill got a double for Australia, but this is the most important double. Iro. Kevin Iro from the interchange bench to set up the biggest party you're going to see in Auckland in 1998. And I'll tell you now, Ridgey will slot this straight down the middle just to finish the nice hot night off for you. Time off, take it off. Inside the last 60 Time seconds. Off. What a victory. What a comeback. Can't remember a test match where both sides have been hurt so heavily on the interchange bench. And how special does that make the fight back to dig deep? I can't remember a time that New Zealand Rugby League ever needed this sort of performance like they did today. And the guys have come up with it. They've been absolutely sensational. Every cake needs the right icing. This night tonight needs this. Just to make it nice and sweet, finish it off. Nobody's sitting here at North Harbour. Just away. All but about 10 seconds, Ridge hurries back, the Australians looking for an absolute miracle. They're all off sides from the kicker, it's gone, it's over, forget about it! Amazing, staggering, quite stunning and simply unbelievable. Said it plenty of times over here, haven't said it for a while, sensational stuff. Well, I've got to say it as well, it was sensational. The Paul brothers got through so much work. What a forward pack display. Should set up a monument for guys like Quentin Pongier tonight. And Ruben Wicky. Ridge found his best form in a badly beaten side last week for the Warriors. Plenty of work, so solid. Now, the penalty still has to be awarded. Everybody's got to remember the ball went out on the full. The Australians are headed off to the dressing room and said, you can go without us. Russell Smith's trying to get everybody off the field. We've got trucks on the field. Got a few guys here who haven't remembered the, the rule book. One now, Russell Smith. How about a quick... Oh, no, no, stop it! Let him start playing. Let him take the fist off the field first. <laughs> Bridgie, just kick a goal. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me get some semblance of order. Hang on. <laughs> Reggie hearing plenty of taunts from some former Manly teammates, goes out looking for Kosef. The arm wrestle was a huge one, but I'll tell you what, it was won in no uncertain fashion by the team that has made sure that International Rugby League is alive and well. Right all the way to 
Great Britain as the world champs. Settle plenty of scores at 